Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to download and install Mnemosyne Project software onto a USB stick or portable hard drive. I use this software to study Japanese, but you can use it um, for anything. Anything where you have a question and an answer and you want to memorize. Okay, so, and just in Google, type Mnemosyne Project, and it's an open source software, uh, so it's free. And it's developed actively by the developer. It's absolutely great. It's the only way to study Japanese, in my opinion. Okay, go to the download link. I'm going to choose the setup exe. Here is the Intel Mac version and the Linux version, but I want this one here, 32-bit Windows, because I'm on Windows XP. Click, and I'm going to save the file to my portable hard drive. In my case, it's G. Um, in your case, it's probably different, but download it to your USB stick. fast. Okay. Close that. Okay. So here's the file that I downloaded. Double click, click run, and follow the options. I'm going to install it onto my G drive. finished. The next step, so let's look on the website. Here under documentation, advanced features, it says running from a USB drive. Okay, it gives the instructions here. And it says it's usually in C, Documents and Settings, Your Username, etc. Okay, so you want to find the dot Mnemosyne directory. So, so my computer's name is Start. So I'm just going to go my computer, C, Documents and Settings, Start and you'll see a uh, Mnemosyne folder. Okay. And here is my portable hard drive. So my desktop, my portable hard drive. I'm going to open the Mnemosyne folder and all I'm going to do is control C to copy, control V to paste, And there it is, done. So that's how you install um, Mnemosyne onto a USB stick. So the first time you run it, you want to choose this file right here, Mnemosyne.exe. Okay. Some computers, it might not show the exe, and that's because in the folder options under view you might have this checked hide extensions for known file types if that's the case exe doesn't show up I always in the tools folder options under view I always uncheck this because I want to know what the extension is So that's a little bit confusing for some people. So that's if you don't see the exe, that's the reason why. And to start up the software, just double click. And this is Mnemosyne. Doesn't look like much now, but this is probably the best way to learn languages or anything you want to memorize. It's absolutely amazing. Alright, that's just the first step. Okay, that's it for now.